In this video, we will go over the second counter of the Salvation's Edge Raid, Dissipation. This will be a beginner-friendly guide that will break the encounter down in a way that first-time raiders will be able to understand. First off, there are three areas in the raid. Right, middle, and left. I'll put a map up here so you can briefly see it. And there's a central area where you will do boss damage later. You will split up into three teams of two for each area. The area on the left is probably the most difficult to cover during the encounter because of the amount of area you need to cover, so the best raiders should cover that area. Adds will spawn in each area and you will need to kill them as quickly as possible. Once you do this, one person from each side will be summoned to this central area to prepare the boss for damage. If you miss the callouts on the bottom left for the specific guardian, you will know you will be chosen if you see a call to reckoning buff on your screen. Once you get down the center arena, you will notice the boss there has a black circle on top of its head. This indicates there are blights up in the arena that need to be shot. These blights can be anywhere. They can be in the center, the area where the three guardians are at, or they can be on the original plates on the middle, right or left. All these need to be shot. The people in the middle, in the center area should be trying to get these where they can with help from the people are killing ads on the main plates. One thing to keep in mind though, the people that are in that center area are going to be dodging the boss who's constantly going to be trying to attack them during that time, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Once all the blights are down and that circle is gone, you'll want to damage the boss. Once you do enough damage to the boss, each of those three players will see a stolen favor debuff show up on their character. That's very important for the next part of the encounter. Before you start the next phase of the encounter, the person with stolen favor in each area is going to have to look on their conduit and see what the what the actual shape is because it can be either a triangle or a circle for the resonance. So you're going to need to know which one you're going to need to close the plate. Now, assuming that you've killed the larger enemy, if you haven't, go ahead and do that. You will have the plates energized. You'll pass the buffs back and forth between the plates and kill ads as and pick up resonance as you can. There's no got, not going to be a third player in each area. You will need to be able to deal with all the ads on your own, get the resonance also, and do the plates. The most important thing is to deal with the stasis enemies as soon as possible because they will slow you and sometimes prevent you from getting back to your plate in time. As before, if you miss the timing, you will get a larger enemy to show up and you will need to nuke that down before you can continue the encounter. It is not as crucial in this encounter to get all three resonance, especially if your run is a little scuffed. So get as many as you can. Again, what it allows you to do is extend your timer so you have more time for future phases. Also, the person who is on the conduit plate, the receiving plate, will need to make sure that the last resonance they pick up matches the resonance the stolen favor player saw. It's also possible that someone else can shoot that and then the other person can step on the plate. So it doesn't have to be the same person, but it is important whoever shoots it has the resonance that matches what the stolen favor player saw. Once you finish all of that, everyone heads back to the bank and dumps their resonance just as before. And now it's damage time. Damage is close up and there's a stop mechanic, so swords work really well here. After some time, you will go back to your plates and start the mechanics again. Note, the players who are summoned to the center is random and can vary each time, so everyone needs to know this mechanic. Do this as many times as you need to kill the boss, and it's on the next encounter. So, super fun encounter. It at least has a boss that you can do damage to, which is nice. It builds on some of the mechanics you've already learned, and you'll see as you go in the raid, it'll help you learn future mechanics that are coming later in the raid. That's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.